Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Resident Evil 4 Remake, the big one. I have been looking forward to this. I played through the demo three times on technically three different platforms. Uh, we did PC, Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X and uh, I had a really bloody good time with it. So. Let's dive in. Now, um, we've got some bonuses here. Uh, oh, extra content shop. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, there's weapons we can buy. Ah, lots of replayability uh, features. Fan bloody tastic. So, uh, and we've got challenges as well. Oh, we're not even going to look at any of this stuff yet. Uh, now, I've got some models unlocked. I guess we have got the ultimate edition so or the pre-order edition whatever they called this particular one um, so it's got some extra costumes now I haven't looked at any of the costumes as of such and I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys it's like the costumes I have seen like this for instance <laughs> I don't like them like at all to be honest Leon Hero, Leon Villain. Ashley Casual. Takes like seven years to load, apparently. You wouldn't think it's on a fourth gen SSD, would you? Um, Alright, I'm all over that. Okay, that's fucking cool. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's get into the game. Now... Um, we've got the extra weapons and extra stuff. Um, so the way I'm going to do this LP, this is blind, by the way. The only part of this game that I've seen or played myself because I've intentionally stayed away from any of the stuff, uh, any of the spoilers. Um, I haven't watched. I think I watched one trailer on this game years ago when they first announced it. And that's it. So, this is going to be blind. And then what we're going to do, once we've completed this main run, we're going to go back through it on New Game Plus and see the differences and experience as much of it as we possibly can. Now, my question is, am I going to absolutely hate Ashley this time? That's the big question that's on my, on my mind. I've seen what she kind of looks like. Obviously, we just saw her character model there. I don't know what she sounds like. I don't know what her voice is like. I don't know. I think I might possibly have seen a picture of Lewis. Um, but apart from that, I really don't know. This is all new. You can now change character costumes and accessories in the extras menu. You can now change the original music in the extras. Yeah, we're going to go with a new music because, you know playing the new game oh cool okay so oh right here we go uh, he looks like Garrett. I don't like that I really don't like that I don't mind that that's fine no we're gonna go for the default he looks fucking cool on the default outfit man yeah, what, why is the default outfit the best? Alright, whatever, it's fine. Leon's accessories. Um, we can give him some, like, cool glasses, I guess. Sure. I don't think these do anything. Ashley's costume. Um, oh, that's just horrendous. Uh, yeah, I don't like. You know what? Let's go vanilla. Oh, you know what? Her design actually is so much better but i think that's because she kind of almost looks like a real person this time around uh filters uh yeah no thanks uh and it, right so we're playing this all maxed out except i have turned off the um lens effects and i've turned off motion blur and i've turned off film grain because why that's even in a game in 2023 i don't know so Let's go. New game, I guess. We'll go standard. We might go hardcore. 
um, in our second playthrough, like we kind of did with Dead Space, although there was no easy run with Dead Space. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go. Enough of this bullshit. Expanded treasure map has been applied. You can now see the locations of hidden treasures on your map. Right, yeah, so this was part of the um, pre-order bonus package. I, I don't really know what that means. Like, is there treasure that wasn't in the game originally, but because I pre-ordered it, I get more treasure? Or uh, maybe the map that I guess that you buy off the merch. I haven't even seen the merchant yet. Um, maybe the map you buy of the merchant doesn't have everything on it which makes me wonder why 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 are you buying the map but yeah not a fan of that but whatever That was horrendous. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee. Why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important then. Chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> I'm already enjoying it. your goals, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Good for you. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke?
He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. <laughs> so much for helping me. So the demo does start off right at the beginning of the game then. Okay, cool. Chapter 1. So, I way prefer that intro. It's like, um, much more expanded. And it doesn't quite hit off the same way. No, um, truck ramming us in, uh, off the road. Okay, like it. Although, a little bit disappointed that the policeman didn't say, Ah, it's freezing out here. But, you know, close enough. Close enough. A lot more personality injected into those dudes. Very happy to see that. And can I just say, this game is fucking beautiful. Absolutely stellar. It's amazing to see how far Capcom keep pushing the RE engine. Uh, I'm already thinking that potentially... The glasses are a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, not a fan. Wow, it's a face. The face only a mother could love. Anyway, let's go for a little jog, shall we? It's feeling a little bit um, more fluid than the demo did, actually. All right. I've got my macro set up. Quick turn. Beautiful. Alright, I like it. Right, Pedro, or whatever your name is, where are thou? Oh, lovely. That's beautiful. It's a cold night tonight. Yeah, I know how to crouch game. Ian Crouch. Ah, E. E to crouch. And my mouse does the crouching. Okay, so I don't know, there doesn't appear to be like much here. I think we're just kind of in tutorial mode now. Now obviously Resident Evil uh, 4 originally didn't have much of a tutorial at all because that wasn't the style at the time, you see. I guess we're going in. Anyone home? I think we're only on. For now. E, what? Oh, I've been playing Dead Space so much where a Dead Space picks stuff up as E. Whereas on this, it's Crouch. God damn it. Alright, that's gonna fuck us over. You know it is. You know it is. Okay, so what have we got here? Judgment is nigh. Exactly. Judgment is nigh. For them. They're about to be judged by Leon. Okay, not much going on in there. Alright, well, let's get this bit over with because this is the demo. There may be some differences. Alright. Oh, let's take a... Uh, we can't look at our bag yet because I've got like a golden attachy case. Attache case. Whatever you want to call the fucking thing. Um... Let's have a peep. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Who's go I own police yet? You know a key? Mario. <laughs> All right, 
right now we're in proper go mode this is not good at all is it leon well i like what he did with the place to be fair i mean when i used to work for the council uh cleaning out um flats and properties uh i've seen worse but hey man that stinks it stinks it looks like shit all right cool yeah we're not gonna be messing around with that I guess we can't take this with us. So interesting in the beginning there, they didn't actually gloss on, uh, or they glossed over, I should say, the whole dealings with Umbrella. They didn't really go into their demise like they did in the original, which is curious. Yeah. You know, just kind of glossing over Umbrella, are we? That's fine. But we did get a lot more. Now, does my yeah ready knife works? All right, cool. Now, of course, the knife is um, a consumable in this, which, which is a questionable choice, you know. But we'll roll with it. Oh, rat! I don't think this rat gives us anything. No, because I, I shot him in the demo, and he just kind of disappears like a fart in a fan factory. So we don't know who that woman was in the beginning that was murdered. I guess she was just a local. Maybe hey. someone they thought was the president's daughter. I read you. What's your situation? That's kind of interesting, the way they've done the intro. It's different. It's kind of less full-on action. Um, and it's kind of more more horror. It's slower paced. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. I don't mind. I don't mind them making changes, as long as the changes make sense. Come on, you. Now, do we want to take this guy out, or do we want to save our... Mr. Broken Neck Man. Let's see if we can just get past him. Save our resources for now. Because fuck that guy. Oh yeah, we can now... Let's get out of here. No point wasting rounds. Smell you later. Oh, actually. Let's grab the green herb. Uh, run! Remember your training. Do they not? Are they not chasing me? I don't know. Right. Um, so somehow, there's the map. And now I'll use a map. Thanks. How do we change our case to the fancy swaggy gold one? That's interesting. We've now got auto sort feature. All right, which, you know, maybe that's cool. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, okay, so our cash is here. I guess these are our, what are they called? Garnets or whatever they were, the, the standard gems. Curious, not sure if there's gonna be any treasure here. I mean, we have the treasure map, but request. Eh? All right. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, overview. Retrieve the kidnapped individual. Ashley Graham, age 20. Wait, was she 20 in the original? They made her older. I'm not 100% sure on that. Daughter of the US president, university student. See photo for physical appearance. Background. Contact was suddenly lost with the subject. <laughs> As she made her way home from campus, soon... You're telling me that the president's daughter didn't have a huge mountain of armed guards? Okay. Soon after, she, along with her ex-military bodyguards... Ah, okay. Maybe I should shut up and read. ...were reported missing. Upon further investigation, it was determined that she was kidnapped by an organized group and team... 
uh, was conveyed. Our intelligence department has confirmed several sightings of the subject in a remote village located in the mountains, mountainous region of Europe. One agent was specifically chosen for the task. Additional info, we have confirmed that the perpetrators received help from an insider. To prevent leaks, this operation will be kept strictly confidential. Local law enforcement have been brought on board and are providing assistance. Mm. By becoming meat. Alright, let's go, Leon. Let's go let ourselves out, shall we? on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to people here. My escorts are... I love that line. I'll let myself out. Now, just the fact that we can move and shoot, personally, just instantly elevates it above the original for me. Going back and playing the original... You know, the original has a special Charging place battery. in um, gaming history. And yes, it's well-deserved, but it's aged. Um, I completed the original three times last year. Once with my girlfriend, once for the channel... And I did it, I did the challenge as well, didn't I? Yeah, I did, because I did the, um, I did it on my Switch. Um, and then the challenge, and then, yeah, I completed it with my, my partner. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's one of those games that I just have no interest in playing again. It's done. So, to play it with the modern controls and everything... I'm all over that. And, you know, I'm actually happy, really happy with what they've done with Resident Evil over the last few years. Um, Resident... Oh, nice. Got some cash. Resident Evil 3. Could that have been better? Yeah, sure. Um, significantly better, really. But for what it was, I enjoyed it. It definitely is the weakest entry that they've, um, uh, Resident Evil entry in a long time. But I still have my fun with it, you know? And I like the fact that they're kind of unified, the Resident Evil experience now, um, since they brought back to make. Like, you've got gunpowder in all the games now. You've got a lot of familiar uh, mechanics. Uh, in fact, you had gunpowder in uh, 7 as well, didn't you? Yeah, it's been a while. Been a been a hot minute since I've played through 7. Right, an attach... Okay, an attach case has been added to the customized case menu. A charm has been added. Alright, so... Uh, a deluxe weapon. Yeah. Wait, so is this like a storage box now? Saving an item storage. You can save your progress at any typewriter. You can also swap out weapons in your inventory via... The okay. That's cool. Because we can now... Like, if this works the way it's saying, I guess we can actually buy and upgrade and play with every single weapon in the game. You don't have to just pick your favorites like in the OG upgrade your favorites and throw the rest away the idea that you can store everything upgrade everything I like that I'm on board but does that mean our attacher case doesn't upgrade in size I'm not sure 
Wait, we've charms do things. Okay. Increased uh, drop rate for handgun ammo. Increased drop rate for cash. Oh, man. This is interesting. I like this. Um, so do we, do we want extra ammo? Do we want... Oh, that looks fucking cool. More gunpowder. Now, the thing with cash, if this works um, the same way it works in the original game, of course, you're actually locked to what upgrades you can get um, by the chapter. You know, you can't, if you cheated in yourself a load of cash, you can't just upgrade the shit out of the handgun. You know, you're limited by the chapter. So, extra cash, I'm not sure how useful that would be. Extra handgun ammo, probably a good idea. Now, charms. Right, so handgun ammo craft bonus frequency. What does that mean? F bonus frequency. Does that mean you just get a set bonus 30% of the time and not just 30% more ammo every time you craft? Curious. 15% health recovery? Okay, that's cool. Um, so how many charms can we have then? R oh, good lord. Really? So... We can equip these buffs. And I guess we can actually stack these multiple times. I like that. And there's a lot of charms. See, this is what I like about not reading anything about the games. Just jumping in. Uh, so, storage. So, we got the Skull Shaker and the Sentinel-9. But, that, right. I No, the Sentinel-9 is a different weapon. As much as I want to use the Skull Shaker... Let's just have a look at the stats of these weapons. Let me drop a save as well. Um, like I say, I don't want to balk the game. Yeah, all right, fine. Straight away. Skull Shaker. So that does 540 damage. I don't know if we can upgrade. Oh, yeah, they were saying level one. So I guess we can upgrade these. A shotgun with a sword off stock and barrel. Its compact size allows for excellent maneuverability and handling. Only holds two shells, though. All right. And parts? We can add parts and things? Oh, God. You're scoring some fucking points right now, Capcom. Does that mean every weapon gets parts? So, 1.1 damage. 19 round capacity. What would be nice is if we could compare them. Reload speed 90, rate of fire. Okay, precision 4. So that does 1% more damage. Holds 10 rounds. Reload speed. Okay, so everything on that is 1. Alright. So that does 1.1 damage. More rounds. Reload speed is slightly slower. Rate of fire is quicker. So that's not that much better than the standard handgun, really. If we send that to storage... No. Okay. I was wondering, if we send that to storage, does it dump out the ammunition? It does not. Register shortcut storage. All right. Well, yeah, whatever. I'm um, so... Wait, we can... Discard. So you can store healing items. You can, or at least you can store, you can store first aid sprays. Sure. Fine. Okay. See, this is a remake. All these extra mechanics and stuff. <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna enjoy going through this a few times. So. Oh, we're on half an hour. Are you fucking serious? Alright. Well, I guess we're saving it there. 
Right, guys. When we come back, I guess we're actually going to stop fucking around and play the game. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.